Welcome back to Caffeine Connoisseurs, and today we are reviewing Black Rifle Company's Caffeinated as Fuck Coffee. So guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a few weeks since I have uploaded, and I know I made an announcement video, and I just want to say, all the haters that said I would never come back, look, two weeks later, on schedule, I am back. Now, the only downside of actually waiting two weeks is actually having to wait two weeks, because I like making videos, I like having it uploaded fairly quickly, and, and seeing all the comments and stuff come in, see how the video does, see how people like it, and all that stuff, and you know, I just get better at making videos as I see videos videos go up and see what does well and learn the YouTube algorithm and all of that. Also, I want to say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. Every time I go on a break or anything, I think it's just because I'm not monitoring the channel as closely as I normally do, but it seems like I jump up in subscribers a lot. So, I just want to say thank you for 200 subscribers. I don't have any kind of special thing planned. Maybe a 1K, maybe I'll have a special then, but yeah, thank you guys for that. Also, I just want to mention that I'm sorry for the bad camera audio because I had still am using the camera audio because I I had my mic stand and I had my microphone mounted in a really weird way on my bed frame and stuff but then all of a sudden my Blue Yeti's like hey yeah I'm gonna stop working for you so sadly I can't use my Blue Yeti but I do have a lav mic on the way so hopefully I can figure out how to use the lav mic I can attach it to my shirt and we'll be good on audio because I always prided myself in having good audio because that's been such a thing that I just focused on over the years and making YouTube videos. I'm like, oh yeah, this audio sounds freaking awful. But then I'd get a good mic and the audio sounds good. So I want to make sure that I have good audio as much as I possibly can. But when my microphone breaks and I have to upload videos, what can you do? Also, since the last video, oh, you can't see them. I got some disc plates. You can, there, there they are. There's the disc plates, not sponsored. Um, but I did say that I'd get some disc plates. I probably should have hung them down here, but that's just a little bit low on the wall, some higher. You can't see them on the video, but it's just the thing that I talked about, so I'm, I'm, I thought I might mention it. Anyway, yeah, so today we are reviewing Black Rifle Company's CAF coffee, and this is some pretty good coffee, not gonna lie, um, and it does stand for caffeinated as f that last word is going to be f***ed out, but yeah, so is it really as caffeinated as they say? Well, first of all, what do they say about it? Well, they say on their website and all the other information that I could find about it, that it is twice as much caffeine as the normal cup of coffee. Now, that's what a lot of companies actually say. They say, oh, well, it has twice as much caffeine. Well, in, it, it does. It does. It has 200 milligrams of caffeine, and honestly, that's a good amount. That's the same as, as something like gamer subs, and yes, I have all my gamer subs and G Fuel and stuff up there. It's covered. You can't see it. Um, maybe I'll decorate the shelf sometimes. Who knows? So, with having 200 milligrams of coffee, it is still very caffeinated, and most people will probably find that that is enough caffeine to get them through the day. Especially if you don't have a very high caffeine tolerance, you don't drink coffee that much, you don't drink energy drinks, or if you just drink normal coffee and want to step it up a bit, that coffee will probably work for you. Also, I just thought of something. When I get the lav mic and everything and have the audio finally sorted out, you won't hear any of those bumps anymore because the table's behind me and the microphone isn't mounted on the table. So, yeah, that's a, that's a plus side, I guess, to the setup. Now, this is a medium roast coffee, and I understand why they have to do that, because, of course, if you burn the coffee beans, like if you roast them on a dark roast or something like that, or any of the higher roast above medium, it's probably going to lead to you losing some of the caffeine content, because it basically burns the caffeine out. There's not as much usable caffeine in the coffee after you actually roast it. So, the lighter the roast is, they can probably get more caffeine out of it. Now, I don't mind the medium roast, honestly. Like, normally I say that I like dark roast, but honestly, I'm drinking a lot of medium roast coffee here recently, and I'm starting to enjoy it, so maybe it's not a bad thing. Now, of course, along with the medium roast, they also use 100% robusta beans, because the robusta beans have more caffeine, while 
not providing as good of a flavor as Arabica beans because the Arabica beans produce more of a premium flavor while the Robusta beans don't taste as good. They have more caffeine and I just knocked my camera a little bit. If you look on the bag here, it's actually funny. The ingredients, I don't know if that's actually reversed or not. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It says 100% coffee, and it's funny because if you look on some of the other Black Rifle Company bags, they'll say 100% Arabica coffee, or Arabica beans. I forgot how they actually worded it, but yeah, that just says 100% coffee. I mean, what else would it be? I'd hope that it's 100% coffee. I don't know what causes this, and I don't know what it is about the coffee, but it does have a thinner flavor that I like, because I like a full-bodied, dark, coffee. Where this is thinner, it does have more of a bitter taste, but that is because the Robusta beans, it's going to be a little bit more bitter just so they can squeeze every last drop of caffeine out of it, which I don't know how they're doing actually because normally if you use all these things in combination, you can normally get a pretty more powerful coffee because like Death Wish. Death Wish is one of the most powerful. I know I compare everything to Death Wish and I need to do an updated Death Wish video, but they, they can pull a lot of caffeine out of it without actually having to do any added caffeine powder or anything. Where in this, they're only really getting 200 milligrams while they're taking all the steps to extract as much caffeine as possible. So I don't really understand the growing process of coffee as much as I probably should running a coffee YouTube channel, but that's just interesting how different companies can do different things and get varying amounts of caffeine out of their coffee while having a radically different flavor because this has a bitter, smoky flavor. You can definitely test it taste the smokiness. Like it says it on the bag and usually I don't go off of just what the bag says on flavor, but you can definitely taste the smoky flavor with this. And they say it's a high caffeine punch with a rich smoky flavor. I don't agree with the rich part because that would lead you to believe that it was a fuller body coffee where honestly it's not. It's a pretty thin coffee. Now, I do think that if you're a person that enjoys creamer with their coffee or anything like that, you'll you'll probably enjoy this because it could benefit from a little bit of creamer. I don't really recommend using creamer because I'm a black coffee type of person, but if you do use creamer or anything, this could be a pretty good coffee for you. Because some coffees, they just have a really distinct flavor, and I just think it would be a tragedy if you did use creamer in some types of coffee, but honestly, this one, go for it. It's not that bad. Now, you can buy this if you want to at BlackRifle.com or on Amazon. It's about $15 a bag, and a portion of your purchase goes to helping law enforcement and veterans. So, it's very American coffee. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, I don't have an affiliate link or anything, so yeah, just click top link in the description. I don't get anything from it, but it's a good purchase. Now, something interesting that I do want to point out about this is usually I get whole bean coffee because I have a grinder and I can do all that stuff, but this coffee actually doesn't come in whole bean form. This just comes in ground form, and I'm pretty sure that's just to actually sta standardize how much caffeine that you can get out of this. Now, which is funny because Death Wish, they give you whole bean coffee, which honestly, I don't like the whole bean coffee Death Wish as much just because I feel like I can't get as much caffeine out of it when it is actually already ground. So that's just interesting. Now, all my other Black Rifle coffee that I will review, I haven't even opened some of it yet. I've had it for a while, but all the other stuff is whole bean, but this is the only thing that they sell on their website that isn't whole bean. So I just thought that was interesting. Yeah, this tastes really watery. I don't, I don't like it. I like a whole body coffee. The, the, the general taste of this coffee isn't that bad. It is a little bit bitter and it definitely has a punch of a coffee taste, but it's it, it's not all that bad. I mean, it has been a daily drinker for me for a while just so I don't have to grind beans and stuff because I'm lazy. And also, of course, to give an accurate review to you guys, but uh, it's not my favorite coffee in the world. If it, you like, if you don't mind a more bitter coffee, um, lower quality tasting coffee with a respectable amount of caffeine, this is probably the coffee for you. And before I rant too much more, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Make sure to come back next week for a new video, and hopefully I can stay on the grind and get some videos out in between studying and all of my other college stuff that I have to do. Anyway, make sure to like the video so that YouTube knows to promote me in the algorithm, and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Peace.